have you ever had an experience in which you just baffled yourself like you didn't know what the hell just happened well i'm going to tell you a story that happened to one of our subscribers and you let me know in the comment section below what you think of this so it happened around 2006 and for those that don't know there's a place in london called hangman's hill and this place is famous uh, it's in epping forest and it's famous because the car so if you take a car there it rolls up the hill instead of rolling down so you put you go there you put your car in neutral and the car rolls up the hill and this place uh, epping forest or hangman's hill is known to have weird things happen to people whether they see things or just weird experiences in general so me and my friends we went to hangman's hill i mean it was the second time we went the first time we went there the car rolled up the hill and we were kind of trying to scare each other we were all sitting in the car and we also knew that you know a lot of people were saying that's an optical illusion but we still tried to scare each other um and it was it was pretty fun and we were quite young back then so there was four of us me and three other friends and we went to hangman's hill one evening and on our way back the car was playing up so the car stopped working i mean we lost power on the car like it was coughing or it was being very sluggish to the point where the car just stopped and it's we were quite into epping for us at the time so we weren't close to any of the um any of the like shops or the main roads or anything like that we were quite into the actual forest itself so there was four of us and what we decided because we broke down and there wasn't very good signal at the time we needed to call help we need to either get in touch with uh, breakdown services or just to get to a point where we actually had signal so none of us had signal on our phones so we decided to take like break up into two groups so one group will sit with the car and the other group would um would go and try to get signal or get use a payphone and this is back in 2006 when uh, payphones were still a thing so um in the distance where we were we can see some street lights and it was very very far away but we knew that if we headed in the direction that we came in we should eventually get to either the main road uh, main road or the some shops that we went past uh, it was about 8 p.m in the evening um when we did break down and um i wasn't driving at the time so i was a passenger so it was myself and one other person one of my friends that decided to uh, go to seek help and one of my friends that was the driver and another passenger sat in sat in the car and just waiting so we set off around 8 p.m and we started walking towards the direction that we came and the direction that we came was probably about a 15 to 20 minute drive so we were expecting it to take us about maybe i don't know like two hours um because it was a gravel road so we weren't driving very fast so maybe so under two hours to get to the main road uh, if we walked it at a very slow pace uh, the fastest probably like 30 45 minutes something like that so anyways we started walking um and as we're walking we're going we're walking we're walking we're looking at the time it's it's been about two hours now we're just walking we're talking we're trying not to think about any spooky stuff because we are walking in the woods by ourselves and we get we're just walking and we're walking so far now it's been like well over two hours and we're thinking to ourselves like it definitely wasn't this far like it can't have been this far so anyways we we're, we're trying to stay calm we're trying to like stay rational and we're just walking we're just thinking yeah it must have been miscalculation on our end and we just need to go to the shop so anyways it's now been about four hours so, so it's about 12 o'clock on our um on our watches and whatnot so we get we get there to the point where we're like it can't be this far and now we're starting to get freaked out we're thinking what the hell's going on that's so weird and there's two of us so we're col col collabor uh, collaborating the time with each collaborate what's the word we're, we're like affirming each other with the times and whatnot 
Now it's 12 o'clock, it's been four hours, so we left at 8 p.m., it's now 12 a.m., and we're still nowhere near the lights. Now we can see the lights in the distance, but it's not getting any closer. So we thought we must have took a wrong turn. But there was only one road that we can go down, so it's one way in and one way out. So it's just really confusing at the time. So we had the choice to either head back, but then that's another four hours and we wouldn't have seeked any help, and we didn't see any cars go past us. So we just decided to keep carrying on walking in the direction that we were towards the streetlights. And eventually, another hour or so later, so it's been five hours now, we got to, we got to the um, shops. And it was midnight now, it was well after midnight, so we weren't expecting any shops to be open. And they weren't. But there was a phone booth there, and we decided to call AA, and we managed to speak to somebody in the AA and tell them the location of the car, and that we're going to wait in the main road, and this and that. And when we got there, uh, so when we, uh, and we were waiting for the AA services to come. The AA services came, it was about 30 minutes in, and everything was fine. So we, we drove, um, we got in the uh, van of the AA, and then the AA guy took us back to the car. But the weird thing was, the drive back was about 15 minutes. And we were thinking, what the hell took us five hours to go back on the main road? Where did we actually go? Like, it didn't make any sense. It was one road in and one road out. There's no way it would have taken us five hours to go from the car to the main road. So, where the hell were we? Like, how did it take us so long and to this day me and my friends we still talk about it and we're like how did it take so long for you guys to walk in there and we it's just one of them head scratches that we, we actually don't know what happened did we um slip into some sort of dimension or time or something I, don't, I, I genuinely don't know but the the ride back and even when the car was repaired and we turned around and we followed the AA car back to this 15 minute drive there's no way that could have taken us five years and I mean five hours and that is the story for today's video. Now guys if you have any more videos um, or stories that you want to share get in touch and make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.